Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 super important question of ACA which is regarding the pipeline processor a 10 mark question from uh, uh, super important question from exam point of view and here here you have to make one diagram and write 5 points regarding that and how to remember the key points and what is the diagram what consists of everything you have to explain we will be discussing each uh, each thing in depth so make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started the first uh, thing is uh, explain the design of a pipeline processor before pipeline you need to understand what is the uh, need for a pipeline okay because that also the key points you have to write pipeline is used for the process to make something more faster and to, to do multiple tasks parallelly okay at the same time multiple tasks should be executed for that you will be using pipeline second thing is that you need to use pipeline for buffers okay what does buffer do it will store something in a different place so that it is easily accessible just similar to a cache okay these are the two key points you have to write and you have to make this diagram here in this diagram you have the control you Unit which is accessing all the stages of the pipeline and R is the register and C is the cache both are uh, getting inserted the data and there will be multiple stages in which the data will get processed and this whole thing is called a pipeline processor because everything is getting executed parallelly the control unit will not send this thing first then this thing then this thing no everything will be sent at the same time and the process will happen and the data will be output at the same time after writing this what are its uh, components present here what are its functions what do these components mean how do these uh, things happen parallelly this whole key bunch of right then you have to write about what is buffer buffer is the main key part of the uh, pipeline process in the buffer what you have is you will be having a uh, separate storage in which you will be storing some data so that whenever the memory accesses some data it it will not take more time or if some interrupt happens in between that will save it from the having the interrupt okay buffer will make the process more faster that's all buffer will make what process more faster it is used to speed close up the speed gap between the memory access for instructions and operands for instructions and operands when you access some memory it will be uh, taking some time it will be speeding up that uh, gap in between by using a buffer it can avoid unnecessary idling of the processing stages caused by memory access conflicts or by unexpected branching or the interrupts because of unexpected branching or the interrupts or the memory access conflicts it causes a lot of time to access something from the memory so the concept of using eliminates the time delay the time how much it is required to delay to store the things and to access the things and process the things and get the output it is uh, speeded up by using the buffer and that's not the main concept in the pipeline processor it is used to retrieve intermediate results or to from the registers or it can store the intermediate results or it can gain the intermediate results these are the must key points of tried for expecting the whole marks in that the computer performance can greatly be enhanced if one eliminates unnecessary memory access. If the memory access is getting unnecessary time, many times you are accessing the same memory place. It, if that is eliminated, it will save a lot of time and the resources and the cost to implement that and you will be getting the results faster. That is what is written here. The computer performance can be greatly enhanced and this can be done by using the buffers. And it can combine transitive multiple fetch store operation with faster register operations. If you do this um, unnecessary task removal, then you will be able to perform the operations faster and you can fetch the results faster. This is carried by register tagging and forwarding. What is register tagging? You are using which register you are making that as the main thing. And forwarding means after you get the result from it, after giving the input and the processing, that output will be forwarded. Okay. Another method we can use is the buffer method to close up the speed gap between memory access for the instructional operand and the arithmetic and logic execution. Here the main thing is the arithmetic and logic execution in which you are using the functional pipelines. Okay, this is another key point. The instructions or the operands provide a continuous supply of the instructional operand to the appropriate pipeline unit. There is a pipeline unit and instructions are operand getting uh, continuously applied. If you use a buffer, it will make it more processing uh, faster and efficient. And it can avoid unnecessary idling of the process stages caused by memory access conflicts or by unexpected branching or the interrupts. Again, the same thing you have to write for filling the answer script. Sometimes the entire loop instruction can be uh, buffered. If the loop is accessing the same thing again and again and it's getting stuck in that, it can uh, overcome this iterative loop by using the buffer wherein you can access one thing just by uh, uh, O of one time. Okay, just direct access you can do instead of just looping it again and again for the same thing. It is very large in the uh, usage of the pipeline of the computers. Buffer is the main thing you have to explain here and draw the diagram. Make sure I uh, explain these five key points. That's all for this video. Make sure the like button, subscribe, and subscribe for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.